Thank you for joining me in prayer. Our prayer tonight is from the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 6, 19 through 21. Stop collecting treasures for your own benefit on earth, where moth and rust eat them and where thieves break in and steal them. Instead, collect treasures for yourself in heaven, where moth and rust don't eat them and where thieves don't break in and steal them. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in. And I want you to think about your treasures. I want you to call them up. Where do you keep your treasures? And with that list in mind, ask yourself, is this where my heart is? God, you ask us to think about treasure. To think about the things that last and are eternal and the things that rest and fade away. And there's so much in our lives right now that we think of as important and necessary and needed. Things that we collect and gather and store. But you invite us to think about those as all things that pass away. But the treasure we need to be worried about, the treasure we need to collect and think about, is the treasure stored up in the holy, stored up in the mystery, stored up in you. The treasure, the treasure that brings us closer to you. And so as we go about our week, we ask you to be with us as we Think about how we're using our money, how we're spending our money. Guide us in directions that change our hearts and change where we place our values and our money. God, this week, our hearts have been troubled. This month, this year, our hearts have hurt. We should have known. We should have been paying attention. We should have realized how very, very hard we have made it to be black in America. And this week, it just keeps coming one after the other of black men arrested, of black men killed by police officers. And it just hurts. It hurts and is in painful, and yet nothing changes. Nothing changes. God, we ask you to be with those who are grieving. We ask you to be with those who are afraid. We especially ask your presence among those who are fearful every time they see a police officer, every time they see flashing blue lights, we ask you to be with them. And Holy One, we ask you to change us, to transform us and to transform the structures in which we live so that the color of our skin does not determine the conditions of our life. God, as we think about our treasures this week, we are blown away by the beauty that is starting to surround us as we watch the trees flower, as we see the buds bursting out of the ground, as we start to hear those songbird dawn choruses wake us up. Your life and beauty are surrounding us. We ask you to be with us and help us to pause and stop and be present in those moments to let your love and treasure, your creation, the beauty that you have surrounded with us, stop us in our tracks. Invite us into your presence. Holy One, there are people in our hearts and on our minds who are suffering this week. 
We ask you to be with those who are ill, to be with those who are suffering from chronic conditions, to be with those who are struggling, who are fearful or angry, who are lost and lonely. We ask you to be with those who are worried. And God, we ask you to be with those who are grieving, grieving the loss of the world that used to be, grieving the loss of the life they used to live, grieving the death of a loved one close to them, a son, a father, a mother. And God, we ask you to be with all of those who are taking care of others. Holy One, where your treasure is, there your heart is. Show us where we should place our treasure. Show us where we should place our hearts. Guide us so that both our hearts and our treasure are closer to your holy presence, are closer to the mystery that is you, are closer to the place where they will do the most good. Amen.